Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have our latest eBay purchase. This is a single lighter that was purchased from a very well known eBay seller, not just a lighter seller, but just a general vintage guy or maybe woman. I don't know exactly who the individual is that owns that eBay store. Put their username up on the screen from the original listing. see pretty big box for such a small lighter that we are going to be opening up here very well bubble wrapped and taped get this unwrapped We'll see exactly what kind of condition this lighter is in. It's another one of those lighters that we got a hold of for a grand total of less than $10. And it does have some adhesive or some kind of build up here on the outside we'll just see how well all of that will clean up and it looks like that's coming off pretty easy shouldn't be too much and that was really the only thing I was worried about that you could see in the listing was some discoloration to the front finish of the lighter it looks like that was pretty much just some light adhesive that is already cleaned off here with the household disinfectant cloth there are some scuff scratches that are evident to this lighter and I do not know I can't remember whether it even showed the inside of the lid in the listing whether or not this lighter is new or what the disposition was as far as whether or not it had been fired so there you see there are graphics on the front and back of the lighter two panel advertising for Dean safety built tires it's a nice anodized graphic and then the back side says tip saddler service station has the address phone number all that good stuff looks like Rushville Indiana so as I said there are plenty of scuff scratches dings that sort of wear but it appears as though the graphic, the printing, the anodized advertising on both sides is still intact and in nice condition. The lighter is used, but not extensively so. At least the evidence of that is not apparent. You can see that the wick is somewhat singed looking maybe a little bit of oxidation down there further in the chimney but not a terrible disposition to find a vintage petrol lighter in so you can see here that the insert which is not marked has a solid foam fuel cell which is a little bit ragged Go ahead and remove the flint spring 
screw and flint spring. This does have a nice metal flint spring screw which is rare among these well I shouldn't say rare definitely not common among these Murfreesboro Tennessee park lighters there's the flint which it appears as though the flint tube is clear with this I don't know if the seller cleared that tube or if it was already cleared before. I don't have enough familiarity with that seller. I have purchased from them before, but it's been a few years and I don't remember whether the tubes were always clear in their lighters or not. Something to keep in mind if you purchase from me. But this one was definitely clear. See, it sparks well. So now we're going to go ahead and fuel this lighter up I'm gonna soak this entire solid foam fuel cell with the petrol fuel which is a little bit different experience than lifting a felt pad and saturating the cotton underneath That feels pretty heavy with fuel. I wasn't counting while I was doing it because I was talking. And we, as of yet, have not leaked any fuel out on the table. So hopefully, that's going to get us fueled sufficiently enough to fire this lighter up. As I mentioned earlier, it does show scuffs, scratches, dings, typical scratches, scuffs to the finish, but nothing major. Marked on the bottom, park lighter, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and then the brand advertising for Dean Safety Built Tires. while at the same time advertising the specific service shop that I assume paid for the lighter. Tip Saddler Service Station, Dean Tires and Batteries, 24 hour wrecker service, 127 South Main Street, Rushville, Indiana, 317-932-5281. There is no zip code present which makes me wonder whether this lighter was from the early 1960s before zip codes became prevalent, before they were standardized by the U.S. Postal Service. But there is a 10 digit zip code. So I don't think this lighter was too far into the 1960s. But the fact that it is marked Murfreesboro, Tennessee would indicate right off the bat that the lighter was produced uh, in the 1960s by the park company as they did not move to Murfreesboro until I believe it was 1960. So the case is marked Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The insert is not marked at all. But it's a nice aluminum construction, solid foam fuel cell with a metal flint spring screw and a 14 hole chimney which these park have a variation in the chimney. Some are 16 hole, some are 14 and the 14 hole are missing the hole from back here, the top rear hole. Anyway. Nice advertising lighter that I was thrilled to be able to acquire for just a few dollars. And again, I've told you guys many times, I'm more of a salvage guy. I do not own many mint lighters. 
haven't handled many mint lighters or new lighters. I'm typically salvaging gems out of what other people see as old piles of junk. Very nice lighter though. Until next time.